what is so cool about this production is that it can speak to a 2019 audience. Mm -hmm. And the show was written 75 years ago, and it was relevant then, and it's relevant now. For these three strong actresses, the staging by visionary director Daniel Fish is shining a light on the darker shades of the classic 1943 musical, which tells the story of pioneers settling out west. There's a lot of misogyny in this script, and the women, particularly in this production, I think come off stronger than the men. And I don't mean that acting-wise, I mean that the women make their decisions, and the women choose what they want. They're not forced into anything, so I think that it's really, the light shines, one of the things in this production shines a light on that. And I feel like really lucky to be doing this show at this time mm -hmm. in history where people are listening to the women. You can, you can come and you will really hear these women's voices. As the show's romantic female leads, Rebecca Naomi Jones and Ali Stroker are making history with their boundary-breaking casting. Stroker as an actress in a wheelchair playing sexually adventurous Ado Annie, and Naomi Jones playing classic ingenue Lori as an actress of color. There's a version of me being cast as Lori in which I sort of have to like pretend I am that ingenue we're all picturing, you know, pretend I'm like Shirley Jones or something. You know, it's like, that's the version that I would have grown up in, with in my head is like, one day I'll play that character and in my brain, I'm sort of playing like a blonde white woman, you know? <laughs> but in our version, I feel like I am welcome to the table in the skin that I am in, which is, which is great. I'm so excited <laughs> and, you know, and to address sexuality and disability without having to talk about it, mm -hmm. but we're just with it. Mm -hmm. And that is totally on brand with this show. Yeah. When I go to the theater, I want to be moved, I want to sit forward, I don't want to be entertained, I want to be challenged and moved, and I think this is what Oklahoma's gonna do for people. I hope, anyway. Oklahoma starts performances March 19th at the Circle in the Square Theater.